Hello everyone, today let's talk about Cogvideo X. There's something very interesting about this model, it keeps evolving and adding more components that allow us to have different add-on features. As you can see in the latest update of the Cogvideo X wrapper for ComfyUI, version 8 has a separate sheet where you can see which model weights features and specification. Also, some limitations of each separate model, we have control pose, in painting, the original 5 billion parameter models, and the image to video models as well. You before you get started on using Cog Video X, make sure you know which one you are going to use for what kind of video generation you are doing. So, we're going to check out the Laura of Cog Video X that can produce incredibly nice local AI videos. This is something you need to be aware of regarding the previous workflow of Cog Video X. Remember, after updating to version 8 of the Cog Video X wrapper in Comfy UI, you have to reconnect the new custom nodes. There are other custom nodes and model loader, VAE encode, and decode required to reconnect in existing workflows. Let's check out the LoRa models we're going to work with today. This is the Cog Video X Fun version 1.1 reward model for LoRa model coming from the Alibaba Pals, a group specializing in playing around with all kinds of open source animation models. They've created many Cog Video X fun model series for in-painting, control net pose, and other add-on video AI models. To try the Cog Video X reward LoRa model, we first need to download these files. Now, we'll check which ones we're going to try. You'll see there are four different versions. Looking back at the model card, you can see a chart below. Pay attention to this, it's very important. If you choose the wrong version of the reward LoRa models, you might get poor results, or your computer won't handle it well. I prefer using the reward models with 5 billion parameters for in-painting. With the in-paint file naming conventions, it doesn't matter, just make sure it's for Cog Video X Fun version 1.1 and 5 billion parameters. Even within the 5 billion parameters, there are two kinds of reward models, the HPS version 2.1 and the MPS, which are different. As you can see here, the training size of the HPS version 2.1 uses a batch size of 8 for 1500 steps. The Cogvideo X Fun with MPS reward models uses a batch size of 8 but with 5050 steps. Depending on what you think will work better for your needs, choose whichever reward model schema you prefer for creating these LoRa models. If you want to see the differences, you can click the link in these reward models for full explanations. I'll talk about the reward model in future videos, not this one, but I'm choosing MPS because I like the multidimensional human preference for text to image generation. This reward model focuses on learning human preferences, which works well for me since I mostly generate character based video scenes. So I'm going to use Cog Video X1, 15B, and MPS. This is the one I'm downloading. As you can see, the 5 billion parameters, the 5B and 2B, have different file sizes. Naturally, with larger parameter sizes, you get more included data sets in the AI models. Like we discussed last time about Orbit or Dimension X during camera panning left and up, we'll put this in the Cogvideo X LoRa files located in your models folder under Clock Videos. In the folders here, I have the image to videos model weights, control model weights, and in-paint model weights. Below, we have LoRes, the subfolder storing the LoRa models I just showed in the Comfy UI layout. As you can see, I have the 5B MPS LoRa models stored here. Going back to the Comfy UI web interface, we'll choose the Cog Video X Fun version 1.15B MPS LoRa models. I should mention that these demo videos were tested without the LoRa models. You'll see how it looks when I connect this LoRa to the Cog Video X models. This one can use INP, short for inpaint, in these LoRa models. It also works with the control models we discussed in previous videos. We're using the videos to videos method to guide the AI video model in generating motions using DW pose with the character motion skeleton. This helps guide each image frame in producing character motions. We have different themes and styles for the whole graphics while maintaining the same character pose. First, let me show you the source video, a woman holding a phone in this stock video footage. I generated 49 frames for the demo. We use text prompts to edit the motions, character, and styles of the generated videos. The result shows a witch holding magic books with magic energy and orbs floating around. This comes from the video source and I first put in the 49 frames. 
you can get this workflow from the examples folder in the Comfy UI Cog Video X custom node. There are many examples here, but we're trying the Cog Video X control net videos to videos. I modified it by connecting the LoRa models to the model weights custom nodes. In the text encoder, we input the text prompts. I wrote, a dark witch doing magic spells in the old castle, holding a book of magic and orbs flying around multicolors. That gave us these generated results. Now let's try generating another video, connecting with Laura for the reward models, which will increase details. You'll see the difference. We got the generated result here. Same prompt, same settings. The only difference is adding the reward Laura, passing the Laura data here. In large language model terms, this means embedded or embedding data. In diffusion models, we usually call these LoRa models for add-on styles, little fine-tuned tweaks about how the diffusion models will perform. Here, we have the Cog Video X control models generating this result. Comparing this with the previous styles or generated results without any LoRa models or reward models connected to the workflow, you can see significant differences. With the LoRa models, we have many more details and decorations. The magic energy from the magic books looks better, with multicolored fire-like energies on the book. In the videos without LoRa, there's only a single color that doesn't feel like good anime-style magic energy. The backgrounds also have fewer details. With our reward LoRa models, we have much more detail. That's the main difference. We can try other video styles to see how they look. Next, we'll use another stock footage that's like a protest style short clip with people screaming and yelling, and we'll animate this. First, let's skip some frames, go to the middle of the video, and keep the frame number at 49 for demo purposes. Let's edit the video to show a bunch of Viking warriors preparing for battle, screaming us, that kind of scene. Look at our generated result. This has an ultra realistic style. What I appreciate about Cog Video X is that most local AI videos can't generate photorealistic or ultra-realistic styles. Sometimes they break down or lack realism, but Cog Video X can surprise you, like with this generation from the Source MP4, starting about 50 frames in. You see people screaming, crying, and then we get this output with all the Viking weapons. In the original Source videos, there are banners and people with masks, but that doesn't matter, because it won't influence our generated result. The banners in front won't appear as objects with that shape. We're not using line art or that kind of control net. We're using DW pose, which only tracks human character movement using a skeleton figure. This allows complete animation into another style without the source video's shape and form influencing the new generated video. Cog Video X Fun really lives up to its name. Even the original Cog Video X company doesn't create so many plugins and external models collaborating with AI videos like using Pose and ControlNet to create AI videos. As I discussed in previous videos about ControlNet and Pose features of Cog Video X Fun, it performs very nicely, as expected. Many of you commented on previous videos and LTX about wanting AI video models that can use control net pose or other control net models to animate output results. I think these models show great potential. I've heard lots of positive feedback from you all on Discord and Patreon. You like how Cog Video X is evolving with more add-on features and models. Cog Video X clearly has potential to keep growing and add more tools for video editing and special effects creation. If you're into video effects, you'll love these AI models. This generated video uses the reward models of Fun version 1.1b5. Let's see how it performs without this. Here's the result without the LoRa reward models. With the same text prompts and everything else identical, you can see it doesn't have good quality without the LoRa. There's less detail, and the characters don't even have armor. And, and then this. This guy doesn't look the same, or it doesn't look like an actual complete face. It feels half-generated and unfinished. Overall, it just doesn't feel like the right videos you'd expect to generate. Now we can see the comparison here. This is, again, the one without Laura, and this one is the one with Laura. I think you guys can judge which one you'd prefer when using the control net pose models in Cog Video X. This is how it performed with Laura compared to without Laura. Here, I made a few modifications, added more features, and included another flux upscaler. On the side here, we were using a flux upscaler. If you have time, you can potentially create some pretty good upscales using this group. 
I also have a normal upscaling model that generates faster and consumes less time. However, in this video, I won't run it because it takes a lot of time. Here's the result of another video I created, and it actually looks pretty cool. For this, I used ninja and samurai fighting scenes as prompts. These were inspired by source videos featuring fight scenes. I changed the backgrounds and characters entirely to create these generated videos. Of course, this isn't high resolution. It's only at a 512 pixel size. So, you'll notice it doesn't have high detail or resolution. However, we can see that COG Video X has potential, especially when it uses Control Net to follow motion effectively. It generates a very smooth result for these AI videos. Of course, with more time, we could optimize the prompts further and experiment with different seed numbers. Hopefully, this would produce additional styles, avoiding issues like blurry faces. The details aren't always clear in fast motion scenes, but it could work well for cartoon or anime style storytelling. In those cases, you don't necessarily need a highly detailed face. So yes, that's the advantage of using the LoRa models with Cog Video X. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. See ya.